So I have an idea. Nowadays, people are taking pictures, right? They have their phones now, they're out. Something catches their eye, they wanna take it, but then the photo's just sitting there. What if they take that photo and instantaneously put it out there on the line and they share it with their friends? That's Instagram. It already exists. It's one of the most popular apps in the world. Facebook bought them for like a billion dollars. Oh, no, 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 mine is very different than that. How is there something very different than that? <laughs> that was from The Internship, a new comedy about two middle-aged salesmen who lose their jobs and wind up interning at Google, answering to much younger bosses. The movie's going for laughs, but also reflects a modern reality. Veteran workers supervised by younger managers. Here with some advice on how to handle such a situation is Bob Rossner. He's a workplace expert. Bob, good morning. Good morning. I was surprised by this number. According to a recent survey, 43% of workers age 35 and older report to younger bosses. Does that number surprise you? No, not at all, but there's a certain irony here. The generation that said, don't trust anybody over 30, <laughs> almost half of them are now working for someone under 30, and 15% of them are working for somebody a decade or more younger than them. Right. The bottom line in the workplace today, when it comes to younger bosses, they're multiplying faster than rabbits. Get used to it. <laughs> I'm gonna ask this next question as though I don't know the answer. Do older people have a harder time taking critiques and advice from a younger person? It's a very tricky situation um, because your pride get hurt, gets hurt. When was the last time you were in a long line and somebody cut in front of you and you felt like they were cheating? That's what it feels like when you're an older worker, that they're somehow cutting ahead of you. Yeah, they've gained the system. Somewhere. Exactly, but there's a phrase called reverse mentoring. You have to adopt the philosophy that you can learn from these people, that they're there for a reason, and if you want the job the next time the position opens up, don't get annoyed at them, go to school with them. Right, well, and in, in, in this case, in this day and age where all, the younger workers often have a lot more knowledge of the technology that's getting used than the older workers, that actually is the case, isn't it? Yes, well, younger workers present certain advantages. The workplace is changing constantly, so they're more flexible. They're not tied to the past quite like other workers. They certainly know technology better than older workers. Mm -hmm but they're also cheaper. <laughs> so there's a variety of factors to play here of why younger bosses are exploding in the workplace. Yeah. But it's our job to get used to it and to adapt to them. I notice you're pointing at me, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I feel like inherently, if you're a younger person, an older person has probably been through an experience that you haven't been through. So how does the older person say to the younger person who's their boss, I've been through this, you're picking the wrong thing. Well, I had an experience working for a younger boss, and my goal was the soprano, Silvio Dante, mm -hmm. a consigliere. You can become, as the older worker, if you're savvy, the person who the boss leans on, who they look to for information. It can actually be fun, but you've got to take your ego and eat some humble pride and say, they're the boss, I'm going to support them. Mm -hmm. It's challenging, but you can certainly do it. I've got the younger, I just need to be the boss now. <laughs> Well, and they're, I mean, they're the ones who've been hired, so you've got to accept that. They sign the paycheck. Right. The reality is, now, here's the, here's the reality test. They're the boss, you're not the boss. They were selected, you weren't. Mm -hmm. So you can learn from this situation, and you can be positioned for next time. But you've got to get your head around it. Right. Bob Rossner, thanks so much for being with us this morning.